The Pyramid is an American supernatural horror film based on found footage and released in the year 2014. The plot of the film follows a father-daughter archaeologist duo, Miles and Nora Holden, then they discover a unique three-sided pyramid that's been buried underneath the Egyptian desert for 5,000 years. Upon entering the pyramid, things take a surprising turn for them when they become trapped within the pyramid's complicated structure and encounter bloodthirsty predators inside. Set in Cairo, Egypt in August 2013, the film opens with a prologue explaining that a team of American archaeologists discovered a new pyramid buried deep beneath the desert. Despite the chaos caused by the Egyptians, a documentary film crew arrived in Egypt to film one of the most significant archaeological discoveries in Egyptian history. The following details the events that occurred at the site based on a true story. The film starts with a newswoman, Sunny, showing a pyramid hidden within a sprawling desert that's 250 miles south of Cairo. She divulges that the public will soon lay their eyes on the archaeologist, Dr. Mile Holden's groundbreaking research. Sonny is certain that Miles and his daughter Nora could rewrite history as they've discovered a three-sided pyramid instead of the usual Giza pyramids that are four-sided. As Sonny goes on with explaining the uniqueness of the architectural feat, she is interrupted by barking of dogs. Later, she interviews Dr. Miles Holden and asks him to explain what he is exactly looking for in the pyramid. Miles elucidates that there are certain ancient texts which refer to the geographic area as the possible site of the Lost Pyramid of Akhenaten, which may be related to the particular and unusual three-sided architecture of the pyramid. After Miles' interview, his daughter Nora Holden explains on camera that the three-sided pyramid is not the pyramid of King Akhenaten, but instead the structure that they are dealing with is buried below the surface. She explains that it takes millennia for sand to build up that high, which means that the pyramid structure predates the reign of Akhenaten by generations. When Sunny inquires Nora about why archaeologists are against the satellites, she elucidates that most archaeologists are trapped in a time when it comes to reworking methodologies and assimilating new evidence into existing historical frameworks. Moreover, she adds that proving an older genealogy for Egyptian history means throwing their lifelong research into question which is why archaeologists are against satellites. The scene cuts to a satellite in which Miles and Nora show Sunny, a scan that proves that most of the three-sided pyramid is buried deep beneath the desert. They have figured out a tunnel to make their way into the pyramid that leads directly to the tip of the pyramid. Because pyramids don't usually have apexes or tips, Miles' team is curious to find out more about this unusual pyramid. Nora explains that she was inspired to break ground using satellite technology after she read an article on search for extraterrestrial intelligence out of New Mexico when they discovered traces of water on Mars through it. When Sunny questions Nora about her thoughts regarding aliens coming to Earth through pyramids, Nora laughs it out as she does not believe in such a theory. Miles asks Nora and Sunny to stop talking about satellites as it's not such a big deal and focus on archaeology. But Sunny tells him that the whole satellite angle is what interested the network as it's the dawn of a new age in archaeology, using the future to understand the past. Miles is pissed as he feels that the raw sensation of archaeology is lost with all the technological mediation. The scene cuts to the pyramid location where Nora is assuring her mother on a phone call that she'll be fine on the mission to unravel the secret of the buried pyramid. Just then, she's exasperated to see a remote-controlled rover vehicle called Shorty, built by her boyfriend and team member Michael Zahir, who's a robotics engineer. Shorty is a one-foot-tall metallic rover with six wheels that works on a suspension system that was originally designed by NASA for their Mars rover. It is set to send back real-time footage to the command center after it's sent inside the pyramid. The next day, the Egyptians who were asked to break through the tunnel inform Miles that they've found their way inside the pyramid. Miles' team races to the tunnel along with Sunny and her news reporting team. Upon giving the final hit, an explosion occurs, emitting aspirilagus in the smoke, which is fungi usually found in caves and tombs. A member starts having a panic attack after inhaling the toxic air and is immediately taken for medical treatment. Shortly after the explosion, Miles is informed that the Ministry of Antiquities has ordered all research teams in the area to pull out and clear the area within 24 hours. It's because of the mayhem and wide-scale violence caused by the protests in Cairo as they're against the foreigners invading their pyramids. Miles gives in and decides to evacuate the desert by the next morning, but Nora convinces him to at least send in Shorty to see what's actually going on in the pyramid. The Egyptian captain, Shahid, warns the team to go on the plane as soon as possible, and Zahir, who is the only man on the team who understands Arabic, ensures him that they will be leaving soon. 
Finally, Shorty is sent inside the pyramid to map the interior. Zaheer controls the $3 million remote-controlled vehicle, which is equipped with multiple types of meters, and upon entering the pyramid, it shows minimal traces of toxic fumes. The walls inside the pyramid show the symbols of Osiris, the god of the afterlife, and also considered by the Egyptians as the first pharaoh. Suddenly, the rover is attacked by something, and the team is startled by it. Zaheer suspects that it must be a dog that got inside through the opening. He drives the rover further inside, but all of a sudden, the rover goes offline, and Zaheer loses all the external control. Despite Miles' reluctance, Zaheer insists on going inside the pyramid to recover the million-dollar rover as it's been loaned by NASA. Miles relents but declares that only he and Zaheer will enter the pyramid. However, Nora and Sonny do not agree to it and convince Miles to take them inside. They remind Miles that they are all a team and should work together. Seeing Miles' team preparing to enter the pyramid, the Egyptian soldier, Zahid, loses his cool and starts shouting at them. Zahir explains to him the situation, asking him to let them retrieve their expensive rover. At last, Zadid agrees to let them in and gives them a two-hour ultimatum to retrieve their rover and get going. Finally, Miles, Nora, Zahir, Sonny, and her cameraman, Fitzy, enter the pyramid. Nora takes her own camera as well to record her diary. Upon entering, Miles keeps warning the team not to touch anything, as the ancient structure is unstable and can collapse at any time. Further inside the pyramid, Zahir is worried to discover the broken piece of rover and fears that NASA will be pissed at him. Nora finds a hole going up the pyramid and jumps inside only to discover that it's a tomb. The entire team enters it and analyzes the structures there. Nora finds a metallic structure with dried blood and decides to take it along as a sample. Nora notices that Miles' wire is snapped and enter a room where Zahir finds Shorty. However, the room's unstable floor collapses beneath the five of them and they fall 90 feet below ground into a weird space with a crappy smell. All of a sudden, a gigantic piece of debris falls on Zahir and his leg gets crushed beneath it. The rest of the team fails to move the debris from Zahir's leg and Zahir can't stop screaming out of pain. Sunny discovers a shaft and decides to climb it to exit the pyramid and seek help for Zahir. As she attempts to climb back up, she's attacked and scratched on the face by an insidious creature and forced to retreat. Miles discovers a door and reads the carvings on it, only to find that it's a warning sign asking not to enter. He suggests waiting in the tomb until the soldier comes looking for them, but Nora refuses to wait as Zaheer won't have much time and decides to look for another way out. The team opens the door, and before leaving Zaheer alone, Nora gives him a torch, kisses him, and promises to return back to save him. As the team leaves to look for a way out and seek help from the Egyptian soldier, they hear Zaheer scream. Miles and Nora run to help Zaheer, leaving Sonny and Fitz only to find his severed leg pinned under the rock. Nora is devastated to see the blood trail marks that explain that Zaheer's body was dragged into the shaft and devoured by some bloodthirsty predator. Miles consoles Nora and encourages her to join others and find a way out of the pyramid to save their lives. Upon meeting Sunny, Miles lies to her that Zaheer died trying to move the debris, but Sunny realizes that he's lying to her and becomes furious. She starts blaming Miles for leading her into a death trap, so Fitzy calms her down. Hopelessly lost within the pyramid's labyrinth structure, the team is chased through a tunnel by deadly perils. They move faster and are finally rescued by the Egyptian soldier, Zadid. Although Zadid shoots most of the small creatures with his gun, he is attacked and devoured by a larger creature. The group is dead scared and converges at a corner. Fitzy notices that Sunny's face scratch is getting infected and her eyes also don't look so good too. Soon, Miles comes across a carved mural that depicts passages from the Book of the Dead and its guide to immortality. He explains to the group that the panel depicts the final judgment, the weighing of the souls, which means that when a person died, he or she was brought before Osiris and a panel of judges. The god Anubis weighed their hearts next to a massive scale. Mott, the goddess of truth, and if it balanced perfectly, they passed into the afterlife. Moments later, the group enters another tunnel that starts filling with sand. Fearful that they will be buried inside the sand trap, the group starts running, but Sunny falls into a pit that's covered with spikes, piercing Sunny. Fitzy tries to rescue her, but before he could do so, she is attacked by the deadly creatures. After Miles and Nora get out of the tunnel, they try to help Sunny, but she surrenders to her injuries, forcing the team to retreat. Nora notices that Miles has been attacked by the creature and his neck has started to get worse. However, the remaining group does not give up and continues finding their way out of the pyramid. 
Fitzy finds the broken shorty and decides to rewire it with his camera and send a recorded message outside. Miles records the video message explaining that he along with his daughter and a cameraman are trapped in the excavation site and need help. He sends out a warning that the pyramid is crawling with deadly creatures, so anyone who decides to come in to rescue must bring guns with them. After recording the message, Miles unearths a secret chamber. The group goes deep into the chamber only to find the corpse of a 19th century explorer along with his journal specifying that the burial chamber can be a possible escape route from the pyramid. All of a sudden, a clawed hand stabs through Miles' chest, tearing out his heart. Nora screams for her father and laments to help him, but Fitzy pulls her away and tries to run. However, the burial chamber closes on them, trapping them inside. Having no other choice, Fitzy decides to go back and face the deadly creature, despite Nora's reluctance. Using his camera, he discovers that Miles is still alive and tied to a large scale. He sees the large creature weighing Miles' heart to determine his worthiness to enter the afterlife. Miles then dies when the creature eats his heart. After the creature leaves the chamber, Fitzy shows its footage to Nora, who identifies it as the Egyptian god Anubis, who is half man, half jackal, that eats the hearts of those he found to be impure. Fitzy then finds the dead soldier and takes the gun from him. Meanwhile, Nora grabs the flare from Miles' corpse. She then comes across some hieroglyphics in the chamber that show the pyramid was built to trap Anubis, who's wanting to reunite with his father Osiris to enter the final gate of heaven. Fitzy keeps asking Nora to stop talking about history and look for a way out. Nora figures out that they can get through the star shaft. After looking through the room, they find an exit shaft with a ladder left behind by Sadid. Fitzy is ecstatic to find it and climbs the ladder after Nora. While the duo is climbing, Anubis returns to pursue them. Although Fitzy shoots Anubis with the gun, he is killed. Nora falls back and is caught by Anubis. However, she uses the flare on Anubis to get rid of him. Thinking that she's gotten rid of Anubis, Nora climbs the ladder but is once again captured by him and taken back into the burial chamber. Nora is tied to a pillar and haunted by Anubis. She uses a blade hidden in her hand to cut through the ropes. After getting free, she uses the blade to slit Anubis' neck. Suffering from the wound, Anubis is then attacked by a group of the peril cats. While Anubis is being attacked, Nora grabs the opportunity to climb the shaft to make her way out. However, she falls unconscious just before clearing the pyramid's exit. Moments later, she wakes up only to find a young boy holding her camera. Suffering from the scratches and infection, Nora pleads with the boy to help her, but before that could happen, Anubis appears from behind. The film ends with Anubis attacking them, and the screen goes blank. The movie has a rating of 4.6 on IMDb. The budget of this movie was around $6.5 million, and at the box office, it earned $16.9 million. I hope you all like this video. If yes, then make sure to like, comment, and most importantly, subscribe to the channel for more movie recaps.